This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. And tonight on Fight Night, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, we're going to continue our coverage of the 1976 Men's United States Olympic Boxing Team. The only problem is the junior middleweight of the group, Chuck Walker, uh, has no fights on YouTube. <laughs> All right, Chuck Walker in the 76 Olympics uh, got knocked out. No, knocked out. Sorry. Got beat in the second round. He wasn't knocked out, but he was knocked out of the tournament. He, he was beat in the second round. And when he went pro, he was 9-1, and one, but he never got a title shot. He never had any kind of you know special moment or fight or whatever. And so since it was the late 70s, early 80s, the fights have been lost to time, if they were ever recorded to begin with. So I got nothing. <laughs> the only video on YouTube there is is a two-and-a-half-minute documentary, you know, for whatever high school he went to, you know, 50 years after the fact. So unfortunately, that's all we can go for. So here's our tribute to Chuck Walker. My name is Chuck Walker. I did not compete in any school sports, but I was a boxer um, based in Mason for many, many years. Uh, I was trained by Gene Lewis, who was a rather infamous guy in these parts, uh, a very good trainer. He was like a father to me. He, he and I forged a lot of common ground together. All right, so Walker was an ground. amateur, was trained by Gene Lewis. Uh, I actually did go to Alma School. Uh, elementary school, which kind of dates me. And uh, then I, of course, went to Powell Junior High and Mesa High School in 1975. Oh, good. We got some footage. Won the championship of the United States. Uh, oh, he knocked him out. After I won the championship of the North American continent, I was a bronze medalist in the Pan Am Games. He won the bronze medal um, in the Pan Am Games. And uh, that kind of took us into 1976. I actually won the... Uh, birth on the United States Olympic team, um, and it was special because uh, not only was I on the, on the team, but I was on there with uh, guys who became... Mike Spinks, Legends, Leon Spinks, Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard, Leonard, Leon Spinks, Michael Clint Jackson. A uh, bunch of great guys, and we still, those of us who are left at least, still stay in touch to this day. Uh, I took those of us who are left. Um, and... As a pro, I ended up with a 17 1 and 1 record. What? I was rated oh. as high as number four in the world at one time. It was 9 and 1. Uh, never quite got a world championship uh, uh, fight. He wasn't ranked but, one in uh, the world, was he? I was very honored as a professional to have uh, been in the top 10. Oh, to look that up. Fought pro for a long time, about 15 years. 15 so, years? Uh, now I am in Conroe, Texas, which is a suburb. Houston, I'm on the sun. And uh, I have a motion picture company, do feature films. Um, oh, no so kidding. I didn't know that. So he does a bunch of B movies. <laughs> but uh, That's cool. <laughs> anyway, we did pretty good work out here. And, uh, um, you know, I have a wife named Karen who's the love of my life. I have such, such fond memories of Mesa. All the schools I went to, the people I knew that I still stay in contact with. And, uh, it has just been a very special, special career, both amateur and professional. It all started right here in Mesa. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> okay, so actually he now does a B-movie company. <laughs> One of them was Danny Trejo and Lorenzo Lamas. I actually got to check that out. <laughs> anyway, that was Chuck Walker special, two and a half minutes long. But uh, some of that doesn't make any sense. He said he was 17 and 1, and he was ranked number 4 in the world, according to the boxing regime 1. So, so what's going on here? <laughs> anyway, since there's no fights other than that little bit of footage we saw, that's all I got on Chuck Walker. So, unfortunately, I have to cut this short because I got nothing. <laughs> all right. So, fortunately, the next guy on the list, the middleweight of the group, has plenty of fights and is very well known, so I will have no problem then. But as of right now, thank you for your service, Chuck Walker, and see you, see you next time, fight fans.